Kiss 105.3 and 1340, where hip-hop and R&B lives. This is the album review show with your boy DJ D. Sewell and Spider Crazy 8. He'll be tapping in in just a second. Looks like he just joined us right now. Appreciate everybody tuned in. Uh, this Once again, album review show every week. Me and my man Spider Crazy 8, we talk about all the biggest albums that dropped. And uh, Spider... Send me a uh, message. Are you ready? Spider, send me the damn tap in. Let's get this going, my man. Uh, we appreciate official uh, tapping in. We appreciate Winter tapping in as well. If y'all got any albums y'all want us to check out or anything that we missed, make sure to uh, let us know and we will check it out. Like I say, Spider's supposed to be sending me the thing to join in. Here you go. A Punts 01, man. We always appreciate you, brother. Coming in right now, man. But uh, let me see what we got this week. Now we got uh, my man, Little Frenchy. He's actually an artist from Fedville. We're going to break down his album. What's up with the spot? What's up with it, man? What you got going on, bro? Man, telling everybody what we got going on, man. Uh, We're going to break down Skinny from the Nine. He represents New Jersey. Uh, Kalan, for real, for real. He signed a Rock Nation. Gibeon, Grammy Award nominated artist. Brooke Chica. Pitch. Bro, Chica. She's Grammy Award winning. Uh, I'm a Grammy nominated artist. We'll be talking about her album. Okay. Little Migo represent Memphis. We're gonna talk about him and Clever represent Alabama. And they're saying he's a post Malone clone and also an industry plant. Spider, we got a lot to talk about today, man. All right, man. What's good, Chris? What's good, Director Pills? What's good, Eric in the chat? Official in the chat. We got five people in the chat, man. Y'all make sure y'all DM the show to everybody. Uh, as you heard, you know, we got a lot to talk about. I'm really excited to hear about Clever and the industry plant thing, uh, and the music and the Grammy nominated uh, artist that you were talking about. So, all right, let's get to it, man. How are we starting it off, man? Uh, let's start with Clever because Clever's interesting. Yes, super interesting. Extremely interesting. A lot of people didn't really understand where Clever came from, yeah. how he was getting the features and the looks that he was getting. But yes. somehow Clever was cool with Juice World when he was alive. Juice World took a liking to him, I'm guessing. But Clever sounds just like Post Malone. He has Post Malone down to a T. He does. Yeah. Okay, I give him that. He has a little bit of his own thing. Yeah. And I think he should push that more. Right. But he's on Post Malone heavy. But uh, he just released a new project. It's called Crazy. It's yeah. uh, 13 tracks. And once again, Clever is representing Alabama. And uh, this is two examples I brought up, Spider, that, that I don't know, that, that, that kind of, that having a, a sound like somebody else who's popular, I yeah. just don't know if that works. But I wrote down Don Tolliver, he sounds like Travis Scott. But Travis Scott signed him and kind of helping him. Right. And Don Tolliver sounds like a piece of Travis Scott. Facts. I, 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 I feel you on that. All right. Uh, designer sounds like Future. It yep. didn't work. It worked for one song. one song. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if that really works, that whole sounding like somebody else thing, man. I, I don't know how I, I don't know how I feel about it either. I, 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 it's a double-edged sword. You can win with it at least one song, and, and, and then if you switch it up, then you have something. And, and if people stay listening to you. Designer tried it. I mean, I, I think people did like Timmy, Timmy Turner song. I really think they did. Timmy, Timmy Turner. <laughs> <laughs> it, it still, it, it, it didn't work. Uh, Designer is the perfect example for this. Now, with Trevor, this is this is just different because I don't, I don't, I don't really think he sounds a lot like Post Malone. I do think he <laughs> to me. Oh, oh what, what's good, Mark? We got the How King Howard in the chat. What's good, man? Uh, Real BC, what's good with you, man? There's a lot of people in the chat tonight. Uh, I just don't think he sound a lot like him. I think he got his own thing. And you, you did hit towards that he had his own thing. But yeah. I see, I can still see the post Malone. If you never said it, I, I promise you I wouldn't have thought I wouldn't have thought. Man, that. you crazy as hell. Uh they got a song <laughs> together. Him, Juice World, and Post Malone. They actually got a song together on his album. And I mean him and like I say, he got a little thing that's kind of his, but he's Post no, Malone, man. Witness, I just caught him. That stuff he got with Nelly Chopper is that's fire, bro. That's not that Post couldn't have did that. I'm saying that, but I do get what you're saying. I do get what you're saying. All right, 
All right. So, uh, All right, so how many tracks was on this project? It's uh, 13 tracks. Uh, like I say, he does have his own style, kind of, sort of, but it's, it's all Post Malone vibes to me, man. Uh, okay. He did have a track on there that he showed that he could rap. Which, really? I mean, he, you know, he does more of the singing thing, but he actually can rap. I'm like, I don't know why he don't. To me, he, he's going to finally develop his own thing. Hopefully. Okay. And he okay. needs to do it soon. Really? But uh, right now, like I say, he's still Post Malone-ish. Uh, I enjoyed it. it. You know what I'm saying? I enjoyed what he did. I'm giving it a strong six and a half. I think it's worth a listen. And uh, if y'all, if you're new to the show, we kind of start things with six and a half. I think that if you're an average rap fan, hip hop fan, and a six and a half mean that you'll find some some songs that you enjoy. You're not gonna like the whole album, no. But it, it's worth a listen. But uh, if you're a hip hop fan, and you want some new music. Clever is worth a listen. Okay. Well, all right. So I'm going to go to that track that you say he rapped a little bit. Was it a trap type beat? No, it was actually, I think it was like a freestyle or something like that. But it was, uh, if I believe correctly, it was like a, a freestyle for Juice World or something like that. Oh, okay. But, uh, I mean, that's what's crazy. Like, he can really rap. He can, he can rap. But he ain't rapping on most of the album. You know what I'm saying? He's vibing. Vibes. Uh, e emo type of, like, Vibes, things like that. Uh, Post Malone. Uh, I was just gonna say po Post Malone vibes. <laughs> the whole, the whole. Come on, man. Uh yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, six and a half worth of listen. Post Malone vibes. Trying to rap. You say he can't rap. I'm saying trying to. All right. Okay. Okay. I I'm not checking that one out. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> uh, he did something weird too. Before we leave this, yeah. he has a hidden song. All right. And, and this is just advice to other people. Don't do this. I'm a hip hop nerd. I listen to stuff like this. But he, his last track was 23 minutes. What? I'm like, that don't even make any sense. So I listened to the song after like, you know, three, four minutes, the song stopped. Yeah. And then it's just silent. So I'm skimming through it. And you get to the end of it, and it's another song like at the 20 minute mark. But uh, artists, I strongly suggest don't ever do that. <laughs> ever. What is the world? It's his problem, man. What? Come on. <laughs> See, I, I, I'm going. He's borderline cook. He's 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 slick done. I I man, we the only ones probably talking about Trevor. You know what's crazy? Yeah. Him and the kid Leroy need Juice World so bad. They did. They, they need they partner bad, man. Four Lanes Management is in the chat. What's good, Four Lanes? Um. And, and bro, like Trevor really, like I really liked Trevor when I first heard him. I, I ain't gonna lie, to you. I really liked him, and I didn't compare him to Juice uh, Juice World or uh, Post. But man, that, man, that twenty three minute track, man, that just don't make any sense for somebody that that's in the industry right now. You know what I'm saying? What what was he thinking? We've seen some bad moves with album releases. Yeah, Drake the Ruler dropped on a <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> right. I'm not, I'm not even gonna laugh. I told you when it happened, it was a bad move. That was a terrible move, man. All right. Uh, little one, what's good? My man Clever got a 23-minute track. Bad move, man. Bad move. Uh, shout out to 479, Ill Ones, Miana K. Williams, Williams. Yeah. and my man Corey, Four Lanes Management. Corey been kicking it in Jamaica. He done came back. He, he, he oh, working there, Spider. Boy, eating, eating good, ain't you, man? All the way from North Look. Okay, okay, I see y'all lit, man. We got seven. That means a lot. Straight he, up. He him in this show to everybody. The album review. We just talked about Trevor. Uh, we're giving a strong six and a half. That means it's worth a listen if you like. Uh, what you say, Post Malone, right? <laughs> <laughs> you a fan of Post Malone? You like Clever? <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. All right, what you got for me next, man? All right, let's keep it moving. And uh, you know, we talked about this yesterday. Okay. On the hip hop highlights, we were talking about how Alabama is bubbling. A lot of people are not talking about it, but Clever, he's from Alabama. The yep. next artist is from Alabama, too. Her name is Chica. Okay. And she is Grammy nominated. Y'all, she didn't win, Just but me, Grammy bro. nominated. Alabama, y'all, is bubbling. People ain't talking about it. But uh, okay. she put out a project. It was just a six pack, you know what I'm saying? Something to hold people over. Uh, the name of it is Once Upon a Time. 
Spy, don't be real with you, man. She got the, the singing, the rapping thing. She go back and forth from it. Right. Uh, she rap fast. She can rap slow. She, she right. got it. She got it. She got it's, it. It's different music. The, the Grammy <laughs> nominated thing is, is really intriguing. Did, did this album sound like somebody that needs to be Grammy nominated? No, it wasn't the best work. Okay. But, and y'all, me and Spider talked about this offline. She's kind of an artist you got to take as a whole. Now, right. if you listen to the whole project and you're going to be like, oh, she got something. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? You'll be intrigued where, okay, she can sing like this and she can actually, you know what I'm saying, rap. Uh, Candy Buns, what's good? Okay, okay. First person to tell the club they supposed to be in on Friday, get to come and sit in on the session with me. Oh, look at that. Okay. Four lanes, man. Hey, hey stay in, in the chat too, man. We're going to try some stuff, uh, try tapping people in too. Uh, but uh, Yeah. Cordy, Cordy, let us tap more people in now. So, man, we yeah. want to hear from you. Most actually, we can split the screen and all that stuff. Yeah, we're going to do that. Big facts. Big facts. All right. So, all right. Six pack. Now, I do want to ask you before we even get to talking about the project. Six packs. You said it was just a six pack. After Drake just dropping a three pack, is it just a six pack at this point? Like, like how 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 many songs on a project do you think really need to be on the project? Like right now, we always talk about how many should, how, how what's too many. Uh, we never really say what's too, you know, what's the exact number you think should be on a, a album or EP or whatever. I can't give you that. It just depends on what you're trying to do. Okay. And this is my thing. This wasn't her project. This was just what you just said, an EP. This okay. was an album. You get what I'm okay. saying? I got you. And this, you. You packed a lot of stuff in. Yeah. Drake dropped some Lucy's off to get prepared for the album. Right. You get what I'm saying? It, I got you. It's it just is. whatever you're trying to do. You know what okay. I mean? So it ain't okay. a correct amount of songs. And this is my thing. Kendrick yeah. may drop a 20-pack off. Yeah. But kids may have five skits on there yeah. that flow to what he's trying. You know what I'm saying? It's a, kids it's may just have nine songs on there. Well, I got and it's you. the dopest nine songs that we didn't heard in 2021. Got you. you. Know so it's about the way you construct it. It's about the way you actually put the project together. She better not sound like the same as Meg or City Girls. Oh, I was going to get to that. Don't Nothing listen. like that. I'm talking about the opposite of that. Yeah. Yeah, and, and and I'm glad I'm so glad A Punt said that. I'm yeah. gonna be real. If you was to compare her to somebody, and she's not like her, I, it would be Rhapsody. But Rhapsody can't sing. This girl can sing and rap. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's no, a, the, the Megan and City Girl thing. It's nothing like that. It, it it isn't a male artist you can compare it to. Mm, I don't know off the top of my head. Okay, I got you. I got you. But, but she, she, she can really rap. Okay. okay. She can really sing. She can do both of those. Bars and really can sing. Okay. Hey, that, I, look, I really want to check it out. All right, so check. All right, so let's, let's go ahead and get to it. Six pack. Um, I'm going to ask you this, man. What, what, what song stood out on there for you? Uh, Hickory Dickory. That's one where she really raps. Uh, the first song on there is featuring BJ, the Chicago kid, an R&B artist. And okay. bro, she she's singing like a damn angel at the beginning of it, yeah. and the halfway point she just start ripping that thing. And just the name like, of that is Fairy Tales. And man, okay. she she got it. She she can yeah. go back and forth, man. Okay, okay. So all right, one through ten, man. What we giving this six pack, man? I'm giving it a six and a half. Okay, it, worth it, it's listen. worth a listen. And uh, once again, it's even to eight point eight points or oh, one point. Yeah. She's something different. She don't sound nothing like Megan. And this one thing, Megan can rap. Megan yes. can really rap. Yeah. So can Chica. And they sound nothing alike. You know what I'm saying? So I, I like it. Okay. Man, you know what's crazy, man? Even just talking about female artists right now, even just talking about their project, when we was doing the drink with the fellas and we were just talking about what female was finna do when it came to music back in that time. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. <laughs> uh, right. tell you too, we, we might need to do that next week when all just the female artists is just coming up. Yeah, but it's, it's so many, and I'm gonna tell you what, that's gonna be a good one next week because I bet you there's so many people who got one that like somebody may like mulatto a lot. Yep, you know what I'm saying? Somebody may like the city girls more, right? You know what I'm saying? Somebody may like Rhapsody, you know what I'm saying? Because right. they want somebody who got bars, you right. know what I'm saying? 
Uh, yeah. Kamaya, Kamaya in the West Coast, and I like Kamaya a lot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Some people like uh, Juicy Fruit in Memphis. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You just got so many from everywhere, man. The, the biggest thing you can't put them in a box. It, it, the fact that you said that this artist is so different, and what uh, Eric said that like she better not sound like Megan or City Girls. That's what they want every female artist to sound like. Yeah, Nicki Minaj, Cardi, Cardi B. And we got, we, it's going to be a whole crazy and um genres of music that these artists are going to go through. And I, I, I can't wait to see what happens, man. What's yeah. good? I'm, I, uh, that, that's interesting you said that. Females broke out of that box. They're in a yes. way bigger box than that City Girls, Cardi B, Megan box. Like, yeah, yeah, they, they out of that. What's the biggest, I mean, I mean, Nicki Minaj and Cardi B is still pretty big. I, I mean, it's it's kind of like I want to see one of them do what Juice World did, with, like like Chicago, just be so completely different but still so big. I'm ready to see that. That would be crazy. I think we got it's, something coming. It's gonna happen soon. It's it's coming. Oh. Okay. But okay. even I know your mind, and I get it. You saying different? That's next. But yeah. think about the amount that can't. You, the, the fact that it's Nikki, Cardi, Megan, they came so quick. So yeah. the fact that they come in like that. Yeah. And then I'm going to tell you this. We ain't talking about it, but Rhapsody won a Grammy. You oh, see yeah. what I'm saying? So Rhapsody to hip-hop heads is yeah. equal to any, anybody that's rapping. You get what I'm saying? So I, I you got it. four female rappers that came quick. So I think it's going to happen where it's going to just open up to what you're saying. So it might be, she might be the next, like you say, Juice World. Post Malone is coming right now and be that, that big. That would be crazy. On a totally different crazy. thing, yeah. That's coming. Yo, okay, Very okay, soon. Okay, okay. All right, man. So what you got for me next, man? But let me say this. Okay, Today, okay. Okay. She's not just a complete rapper, but somebody who was different and came with a different style. They took her from her, us, but Lizzo, Lizzo rap, Lizzo scene. I just described Chica the same way I was described Lizzo. And now I'll go, I've been, I've been, I've been waiting to see what Lizzo gonna do next. You, you you think she got an album coming soon? I can't even do it like that. Okay, bro, you disrespecting what she didn't already did. I ain't disrespecting it. I like, bro, no, right. no, on some real time, bro. I can't even go there with you because she didn't did the unbelievable already. She like the Roddy Rich. Like she got, she got it. She, it takes years for her album to come. You, we putting her in like a Kendrick type. We're gonna let her album like marinate over a while, right? No, I ain't saying all that. I'm going to your point. Okay. That cool. She was something different and she yeah. blew up. She did. That was your point. Yep. So I'm saying I'm throwing her in she is that. with Cardi, yeah. Meg, even Rhapsody. Even though, like I say, pop music took her. Yeah. They Lizzo took raps and Lizzo yeah. sings. That's okay. what she do. You know what no, I'm saying? So that's no. Nah, I'm, I'm okay. Now Lizzo is what I'm asking about, and, and Lizzo is the post Malone. Okay, I got you. Now that's big. That's that's, big. that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, that's it's right. not right. auto tune singing, but she came with something totally different, yeah. and it won, and the pop world took her. Big. Fan. That's what you oh. just described. Yeah, <laughs> hey, no, I, 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 my fault, Lizzo. I know you're gonna watch. It. <laughs> My bad. Look, hey, much much love. Congratulations. Look, hey, you here? I gotta go check out some more Lizzo. I gotta go check out some more Lizzo, man. Bro, she had a moment. She dominated. What was it? Twenty nineteen. She killed it. I mean, I was saying, don't forget that Lizzo dominated yeah. twenty nineteen, dog. Straight up. Thanks, man. Home cares. What's good, man? Uh, all right, all right, okay. What well, we, we got next, man? Uh, we can go through these two quickly. Okay. Uh, Skinny from the nine. Uh, he he represents New Jersey. Spider. Twenty sixteen music is in twenty sixteen, man. Yeah. She said, it, it. "Yeah, man." It reminded me of Smoke Perk. Really? And I was like, you know. And I'm gonna tell you, if you remember, we we did Smoke Perk last project, and yeah. I told you it was actually okay. Yeah. But that music's done, cool. so it it don't. I don't. Um. And Skinny from the Nine is 25. I looked this up too. Oh, so I you said, man, that man, 25. He had like just a little buzz coming a few years ago. Right. Now he was in the news for other stuff. You know what I'm saying? But man. <laughs> 
I'm like, man, it didn't came and went on skinny from the nine for real, for real, man. What's good, Aunt? What's good? How you doing, family? Make sure you DM the show to everybody. Uh, skinny from the nine, man. So twenty five and still making twenty sixteen music. Ugh. But see, like, I, I mean, even on that point though, I mean, Drake is still making twenty. I mean, what what type of music we saying Drake making right now, currently? Because this ain't twenty twenty music. This ain't twenty twenty one music. And me, so, and you said it. All these, all three songs sound just like Drake. They different. But they yeah. sound just like Drake. They sound like old Drake. They t you know, not scary hours of one, because we ain't going to talk about that. <laughs> it sound like old Drizzy Drake. Why and all are these three songs of them. Winning? And these guys can't win with the old song. Why are these songs winning? Yeah, I mean, of course, it's Drake. But it's Drake, OK, let, let's do this, too, though. OK. Drake was part of a period of timeless music. Right. They came in on a period of the you know what I'm saying the microwave music. You see what, what Ann said. What are your thoughts on Drake's songs? What's next? That song is oh, it's stupid fire. Big facts, big facts. Right. I mean, we talked about it on the last show, um, but I mean, next level. I mean, you know, can't wait to see him perform it. Whatever, you know, bigger than life. But I got that from my guy Wolf, man. Larger than life. I can't wait to see what he does when he perform that song. That's gonna be nuts. <laughs> Bro, when that beat come on, that bam, 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 I'm like, hey, oh, hold on, <laughs> hold on now, everybody, hey, if you got a drink, you putting it down. Hold on now, I'm, I'm taking the pain away. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, man, straight hey, up. You ain't, me, ain't, you ain't tell me you a DJ and you played that, man. What you thought about it when you played that song in the club when you were DJing, man? Hold and on, you, now. And got and to and did you play that? What's next? Last week in shots. We want to know that. <laughs> Oh, uh, put up, oh, uh, uh, bro, the motor. <laughs> uh, yeah, bro, it's crazy. It's crazy. So, um, all right, 2016 rap. You're saying that it's, it's, Drake can do whatever Drake wants to do, but everybody else can't stay in the past. So, all right, let's stick on it. Okay. So, me and you said that Drake sound like old Drake. Exactly. Best I ever had, all that old Drake is timeless music. Fact. You know what I'm saying? That oh. even, and think about this. I said 2016. Yeah. Steady Wap. Uh, designer. Bro, I mean, it kind of worked. It kind of don't. And they were the biggest of that time period. I got to ask you this in, in this moment. Actually, the weekend sound the same as the weekend in 2016 to you. The weekend came and, out earlier than that. He did. He did. Okay, I get you. I get you. But he still sound, does it still sound the same? Does the weekend. The, he kind of almost the weekend kept his eerie, drugged yeah. out vibe, right? Right, with a little pop, and he yeah. never had pop at the beginning, like he was all vibe that, as they say, emo. It was just yeah. this one vibe, but that's right. the only thing that he changed. He added just this little pop fun vibe, but yeah. the weekend music was not fun at the beginning. <laughs> Do you think uh, Wiz Khalifa still wins in this, this today? Like I, I think his core fans really like him a lot. But do you still think That's Wiz wins? That's it. That's it. Okay. And I, I think Wiz cool where he at. I think Wiz he think about this. Wiz good. was at the top. Yeah. He had the label bag and Wiz was a, a top five rapper, not even arguably. At one point, Easy. probably like three or four years, he was a top five rapper. That summer he put out that rolling papers. Jesus Christ. Bruh. <laughs> and I, and you know, he was on fire. And even yeah. the album that wasn't good, the the black and yellow and yeah. All that stuff did good. Uh, we them boys and all that yeah. stuff, they did good too. Did really good. Uh, I think he like, man, you know what? I would rather just have my core fan base who rock with me for mm -hmm. doing the type of music that I like to do. Right. I think he that type of person. So he made a good enough time. And during that time period when he was hot, well, he did different than these guys that are still stuck in, the t in their time. It's developed that core fans. We was talking about this the other day. Uh, when like Cardi B is getting her core fans and things like that, even with I think it was Meg that we was talking about, you gotta capitalize on your core fans yeah, during your hot time. Like that's the biggest thing, bro. And what you saying is a deeper conversation. Yeah. Tell you the truth, I need to write these down. And I'm gonna forget both of them. The one we talking about earlier, but this one, it leads to this with the TikTok people who getting big. Yeah, with them people knowing your song and not knowing you, you ain't gonna win, bro. No. And that's the thing about that TikTok thing, man. I'm telling you, 
I yeah. see, you know, it'd be a big song and everybody doing that. And they have yeah. no idea who's singing. You have no fan base. You think you do. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. viral. I got all these followers. You have zero fan base. Nobody zero. cares about nothing else but that one song. Nothing. Zero, nothing. Bro. I'm out this. What's good with you? Uh, Anson, he did play that song, Get Shots, man. Hey, I know that was turned up. All right, man. Uh, so I, I, he's <clears> his, uh, we're going to go ahead and get to the rating of this uh, project. Oh, we're moving past it quick. All Keep right. it moving. Keep it moving. Up next, we got. Don't don't waste your time, y'all. It's getting from the night. <laughs> Kill good about them. this. Bi, uh, hey, what's up with it? The weekend, Drake, Wiz, all have done cross collaborations with Spanish artists, which I think shows how big they are. Mm. Uh, they're businessmen, and let me tell you this: all three of them that you named also have done music with pop artists. You get That's what I'm saying? So when yeah. pop music was big, they did music with pop artists. Latin music, Latin hip hop is big. They do music with Latin. You know, you know how the game go. That's just what it is. You know. Let me say something that you said the other day. You was like, NBA YoungBoy don't have that hit. All those three artists have that hit, and and it doesn't matter how long they sound the same because they have that hit. Like the um uh, the even the song that Wiz did about Paul Walker. Like that's that hit. It this is one of the matter. biggest songs ever. And me, yeah, and this, exactly. me and you wouldn't even mention that in his top songs. Yeah. But that's one of the biggest songs in music history. Right. And, and, and I Drake, see you again. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, so it doesn't matter how long he sounds the same because he has that song. That's the point. That's the key thing. Like, you got to have that song. If you don't have that song, then, man, in a couple of years, you're cooked. It's Look, tough for you. I know we got we to keep going. I know we got to keep going. But Lil Nas X, you, he can't sound the same in the next year or so? What sound do he got? Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Call me by... I mean, I mean, for real, what's the, what's the sound? I don't... I think he should have kept doing country music. But, like, he, I don't know what he's doing. But uh, I got you. I got you. Let's go, let's go move on. That's a what on is day. his sound? I'm going to ask you again. Goes to show you how big Spanish music is. I mean, what, so are we saying Cardi B can sound the same forever? Six nine. Mm. <laughs> you can't sound the same. You you got to change some stuff up. And I'm gonna keep on telling you. You keep saying sound the same. It depends on what time period you came out in. If you oh. came out now and you sound the same, and the way the music changed, you ain't gonna win. So you right. keep saying that, but that's incorrect. You can't I, sound the same in this day and age. Your music, Travis Scott music is evolving. Post Malone music is evolving. They don't sound the same. NBA Young Boy ain't. I don't even think his music is. sounds the same. Yeah, but NBA Young Boy gonna flame out. It's gonna be a you know what I'm saying. The I'll, next, I got two shiesty up next. So that show you how it changed quick. You know what I'm saying. Not, not, not today. We ain't gonna talk about pool. We ain't gonna do. Who's actually got a platinum song, bro? Don't do that. <laughs> this is my thing, you know. Hey, I, I'm, I'm okay. Hey, we, we talking real music here, dog. Yeah, hey, uh, six nine kills it more in Spanish than English. To be honest, facts. Bad Bunny. Okay, I see y'all points. I see y'all points. I see y'all points. I ain't no Pusha T fan, so I ain't, nah. I don't give a damn. Pusha T got a platinum <laughs> song, and he just came out. I mean, that, them just facts. Kids yeah. like. NBA young boy, he was new. So everything yeah. sound the same. Pusha Pusha is, is coming up, and he's on fire. I'm just that's all, these are the facts. That's all I'm saying. All right, let's keep it moving. Uh, Kalan for real, for real. He signed the Rock Nation. He is from Compton. I was intrigued. I listened to his project. I was pissed off. Yeah, signed the Rock Nation, Ooh. bro. That's some fake Roddy Rich. Ain't gonna work, man. Fake Roddy Rich ain't gonna work, man. Oh man, yeah, he had security. He 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 had it. They say it was the club security, <laughs> but okay, it ain't gonna work. Quick hit. Well, what's the vibes on the project? I just Roddy told you, Roddy Rich clone. Uh, Rock Nation thought they could do something with dude. I guess. And, and you know what? That a lot of people, and I know this sounds weird because this is an album that. I'm going to tell y'all not to listen to and it's up. But a lot of people who pursue music that's watching us right now should mm -hmm. check his project out. Really? And listen to that and say, 
if he can get signed to Jay Z, anybody can make it. Just for, you know what I'm saying on some real okay. motivational because bro, he got a sound that's already done. But right. Rock Nation think they can do something with it. Right. You know what I'm saying? But if you actually got an original sound and doing your thing, man, you got a better chance than this dude. But listening to that, just let me know, man, anybody can make it, man, for real. That's the second person we talked about today that sounds like somebody else and actually is an industry plant. Uh, it don't work. I, and they're just looking. They, so they're capitalizing off the sounds. Whatever is popular right now, we can get somebody to do it. Instead of signing somebody, taking a chance on somebody, they're they're picking people up that actually sounds like something that's already working. Okay, bro, we we play Kalan for real, for real. We play one of his songs, but even really? with all that push and all that, you have you have never heard of this dude till I just mentioned it. Big the majority of people high. watching this have never heard of him till I. You know what I'm saying? So even with all that push, bro, yeah. you got to sound just like somebody else and ain't gonna work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. If Blueface in the music industry, anybody can make it. Blueface is actually dope. Don't, don't do Blueface like that. They rap out here like that. And it, 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 the more and more I've been at, I, I went to a couple shows, like they just really just rap like that out here. Everybody raps like that on the West Coast. Real talk. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Blueface what? ain't dope. He had one song a year ago. Hey, man, you've been doing a lot of capping. That's just, that's like your third no, cap. We no, ain't now. We. Now, we got to keep it real on this show. We're going to lose credibility. You're doing a lot of capping. I'm going to tell you that now. <laughs> <laughs> that man said Blueface is good. Blueface got one song. What's good, Swagger? Swagger say How you feel about the Grammys and did you watch it? You want to go there, Swagger? I mean, we talked about it yesterday. It was all right. I mean, I mean the biggest thing that we got from it is, you know, they – they got Beyonce and Jay Z to be there. That's that was the biggest thing. I said, uh, and like and like uh, Spider said, and we talked about this yesterday. You should have tapped in and checked it out. <laughs> but you know, on the hip hop highlights, which we do Monday nights, we talked about that. But uh, Beyonce and Jay Z was there. I felt that they made the Grammys relevant. I kept joking with Spider that we wouldn't have been talking about the Grammys if it wasn't for them being there. Uh, and I also said that the Grammys was black and black. I thought I was watching the uh, BET Awards for a second. And oh. my last thing is, I cannot believe they let Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B do that performance. I still can't believe that. Bro, I, 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 did, I got offline after the show and stuff like that. And like I, Kylie was talking, she was like, she was just saying a bunch of stuff that went on at the Grammys. And I was like, Man, did anybody white win a Grammy? Did, did, what, what happened? <laughs> Blackity black, I told you that man. That's, they were. That's crazy. Wow. I yeah. had to make sure it wasn't BT. I was watching, dog. I'm for real, man. BT might gotta work something out with them or something, man. <laughs> <laughs> BT was mad. Yeah, they like, damn, they, they, took took whole whole <laughs> they took my whole show. They took my whole show. Hey, Cardi B and them probably ain't gonna perform at the uh, BT award. They boy. <laughs> BT okay. gonna have to get Jeezy, Gucci, Ti. They gonna have to get old. They need versus battles. <laughs> That's who bought the versus battle. That's that's. <laughs> they had to get Neo. <laughs> yeah. Look, hey, the Wolves have been doing a lot of capping and stuff, man. Hey, look, man. <laughs> All right, so what? Hold on. So we ain't gonna even rate these two. We ain't gonna rate this one from the uh Roddy. Oh man. All right, man. So we ain't gonna rate this one, man. We go. Hold on. You got what you been saying? If you're an artist, listen to Kalan for real, for real. And you should go hit the booth right after you listen to that thing. Real, Straight real. up. <laughs> go hit the booth right there. Motivation. Oh, he signed to JC? All right. <laughs> she ain't worried about it. She got a new show coming, plus uh, the Netflix show coming out. I mean, she's still winning, so it doesn't matter. Okay, all right. What we got next, man? What we got next? We got three more albums left. Uh, give me on. Now, you're going to be hmm. pissed off about this, by the I can't wait to hear about it. But I'm going to start with this before I get to it. Okay. Grammy nominated Gibby on an R&B album of the year. <laughs> but somebody, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that. I'm going to make it brief because I know you don't like talking about R&B. That man got the best traditional R&B album of this year. Him and Tory Lanez got the best R&B albums of the year. I told oh. you Tory Lanez got 2021 R&B. Right. So, man, if you love R&B, 
And you a fan of Brian McKnight, uh, Jaheen, uh, Trey Songs, all that type of R and B. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Give me on is that dude okay. is dope, man. I'm listening to that. I said, bro, I'm gonna be for real. The only three R and B albums that really come to my mind since we me and you been doing this show. Okay. I told you about Jasmine Sullivan. Because yeah. It was just so creative. Right. I told you. Uh, Tory Lanez had the best. I told you that last week. Right. Give me on the album is just the biggest Tory Lanez. They just totally different. Got yeah, two different lanes. Two different. Is it more so totally. like on that Bruno Mars R and B song that he? No, heard? no, no, no. Uh, because Bruno's still cooler. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just but let like, me tell you this. Give me on okay. still ain't. Give me on is more like Maxwell. Oh. Okay. It ain't Brian McKnight slow. Right. But Maxwell still kind of got a little groove to it. Yeah, pretty well. Give me on, it ain't as cool as Bruno, but it yeah. got a little groove. You know what I'm saying? It ain't putting you to sleep R&B. You know what I'm saying? It, it's cool. Yeah, it's I like, it, it reminds you of you like in a little lounge, getting a few yeah. drinks, and it's a cool right. R&B artist performing. That, that would remind you of. I was like, okay. man, he going to rock a whole bunch of little little clubs and little places all over the country with that yeah, album. Okay. Man, he dope. Super dope. Oh, super dope. Okay, so you, I, I'm taking that you really like this album. Uh, super R&B. Like. R&B is not dead. Stop it. Um, it, it. I wouldn't say this. Let me tell you the thing that I thought about the other day. Because I was watching the show uh, Snowfall. And it's kind of like 70s thing. But you could tell that you know, with the cameras and stuff. This, this is a modern day shot. They shot this like couple of days ago you know so i guess with that being said like I, I came up with the theory of like it doesn't matter what type of music you make keep making that type of music because they can always do different films and shows that your music can actually fit in so okay with this r&b maybe they might do a video a movie or something that this r&b may fit in that's oh yeah that's keeping it live that's 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 what's keeping it. and even like the lounges and things like that you walk into a nice little smoke shop they playing stuff like that it fits. Okay, cool. All right. How many tracks was on this project? Would you saying that I used to watch uh, Luke Cage on Netflix. I like that. Uh, yeah. They used to have that little lounge with different people performing that he would go to. That's the type of artist that, you know what I'm saying, that you just said. Gotcha. His management yeah. would hit them up. Hey, he fit the vibe of what y'all doing on the show. Luke yeah. Cage in there having a meeting, give you a performer. You know what That's I'm saying? Dope. But yeah, you, you hit it yeah. on the head. But, uh, like I told you, I'm sticking by my guns. It's, it's, it's just as good as Tory Lanez. Uh, different lanes, though. I mean, you know, different lanes. But uh, I got to give him an eight, man. Yeah. Eight. And he, like I, I said, he Grammy nominated, bro. Dude, for real. Hey, highest rated, highest rated project on the uh, show so far, and it's an R&B. Um, how many tracks you said? Did you say how many tracks was on there? 13 tracks. Any Any features? Uh, Snow Allegra, and I actually like her a lot too. Okay, I mean, is she something that make she make you want to try uh check out her project or something off off the uh, song she got. No, it's project. real though. That, that's another. If anybody likes traditional R and B, Snow Allegra, yeah. she she up next too. She coming up next. Bro, I ate. Come on now, I ate. That's crazy now. Woo! And we talking about R and B. Out of those thirteen, how many did you like? The majority of the album, uh, and I'm gonna be real with you, I, I got to write them down, and I was going in order, and I was just like, I like the whole album. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's one of them things. I was breaking it down song for song, and once yeah. I'm we're going through six songs, and I like all, you know, the top six. Yeah. You know, I'm just like, okay, ain't no use in uh, breaking it down no more. I know what time it is. It, good, it, it was more about let me find a song I don't like. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, that's where I was at on it. But okay. uh, I put, York in the crib. <laughs> I put <laughs> this is the highest grade of traditional R&B in 2021. That's what I put. Okay. Bet. All right, man. I, I'm still feeling the way I feel about R&B. But, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? There's some people out there, some things for you, man. Let's get on. You say we got two more after that one, right? Two more. Uh, big shout out to my man, Little Frenchie. Uh, okay. He dropped an album named The Regular Tape. He got 13 songs on there. I just seen Little Freaky perform maybe three to four times. And he done did his thing every time, bro. Every single time. What they ask How y'all feel about Carter and Meg both getting the Grammy before Nikki? 
Not I mean, right. Hard. You don't think so? No, Nikki. Nikki's a legend. Look how long they took to give Nas one, though, man. Nikki's a legend, and Nikki is the best female hip hop rapper in history. Let that you can let that sit as long as you want to. <laughs> <laughs> in the history of music, Nicki Minaj is the best female rapper. You out there, right there. You out there, Nicki. Uh, black. Oh, cause. Oh, the six but it was before future. that, though. No way. She's uh, uh, he he's out there in New York. Who who is uh, talking about as far as like, you know, artists right now? Yeah, uh, right, of course not right now. But Nikki, that's a fact. She is okay. Yeah, you right. I ain't gonna even contest it. You right. You right. I don't understand. I don't get it. Nikki had a ten year run. Whatever female rapper had a ten year run, she and was, she ain't done. She, she just chilling. She had a kid. <laughs> huh? It was the same project though. Like what? It was a Black Friday, uh, Pink Friday. Like, what? I mean, Nikki had it. a ten year that's only... She good. Nikki had. I, mean, I like. I don't like Nikki. Nikki had what? I, 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 I eight, it. A eight year run until Cardi came. She was Nikki was unquestionably number one until Cardi because, came. Bro, well, that come on, man. Right? That's dumb. I give it to. You. Yeah, that's that's true. Okay, yeah, she deserved a Grammy. Uh, what? I don't even know what what Grammy. She she just got an end, uh best new artist, best female art. That, like, that's yeah. what I'm saying. No, I I'm not. I can't tell you the one she deserved. I'm just right. saying from who she is, out of respect. Let me tell you this. Do you think Jay Z deserved every Grammy he got? No, no. it was Jigga Man, and in some categories he was gonna win because he's Jigga Man. I I didn't like Nikki. I just don't like Nikki. I, I think she's good. She can really rap, but I, I'm not a big like you know. Nikki's been blackballed ever since. She, come on, bro. You, we can't say that about that with the six nine situation. Everybody <laughs> thinks she's blackballed. <laughs> yeah, bro. Hold on, Spider. You said uh, on another show, Cardi was the best, and now you say, no. I don't say Nikki is the best. Like I'm not saying Nikki is the best. I, I'm just agreeing that she had a strong run. Uh, do I think if Cardi and Nikki came out at the same time? That w this is a different conversation? Yes, I absolutely believe that. No, it but. Ain't. No, it ain't. That's just how. I, uh, look, uh, I ain't going to never play 2K with you ever again. <laughs> oh, man. Well, right. well, let me explain my point. I, I just can't say no. And, bro, and, and you, I'm going to tell you, Spider, you, you throwing a lot, and you getting time periods confused, bro. And okay. let me just tell you this. Nikki did what Drake did. She survived an era. And let me, and this is my thing, bro. Okay. Nikki got R and B songs. My, I'm gonna tell you I'm this. My favorite Nicki Minaj song is I Wish I Could Have This Moment for Life. She's singing yeah, that's on good. Bro, yeah. Nikki, she went pop. She got this song Starships. Remember, that was a big song. Like Nikki adapted. Nikki got the little reggae songs. Yeah. Nikki kept changing. And she was doing like Drake. Whatever the, the time, great. bro. Nikki got songs with David Guetta. Nikki yep. got them club EDM songs. That's what I'm telling you. You comparing Cardi to her? Cardi dope. Yeah, okay. But if you gonna tell me Cardi could just keep adapting like how Nikki was doing, just like how Drake was doing? I I can't go with you on that, bro. You disrespecting okay. Nikki. You are. You disrespecting what Nikki did. <laughs> a lot of people prefer to listen to Nikki over Cardi. I, I mean, I guess. Uh, and like, I ain't gonna just hey, look. I just gotta say what I gotta say. And, and, and you know, I, I feel and, and, you. yeah, yeah. I just, I, Nikki the goat. She has the best Latin song with uh, Carl J. Okay, Cardi better than Nikki. Thank you. Somebody okay. in the chat supporting your boy. I'm glad because like everybody else is just sitting there. They don't. They don't. They want to go against Spider. Boy, and it's boy. cool. Come on. Nikki, my fave, Cardi is better though. Just that's that's all I want to say. And, and Cardi's going to be around for a while. I, 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 but we've been having this conversation. Nikki, for a while. we've been having this conversation. Let me, let me tell you, I'm gonna tell you something to say because, like, I, I, no one's better. My guy, I, I like this guy so much. There's, we got to hey, stay in the chat, man. But Cardi isn't better. What? Um, the, the these guys, yeah, y'all, but I'm gonna tell you, y'all, a bunch of D Sewer fans. That's, <laughs> <laughs> no, they know music on here. And Corey, I thought you knew music, Corey. No, Corey knows music. 
He knows. Look, let me tell you, this is say, it Nikki is the best as of right now. Yeah, she has a longer run. I'm gonna say that. Bro. But hey, look, I ain't gonna stay. I ain't gonna stay on it long. I, hey, All right. <laughs> course, hey, Corey, we need you to jump in the chat and just talk. I just want you to be on the camera. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and keep talking about the album, man. <laughs> All right, man. Big shout out to the homie Little Frenchy. Like I said, I seen Little Frenchy perform three okay. or four times. The name of his project is The Regular Tape. He got uh 13 songs. <laughs> And uh, my favorite songs off the project is Scheming, Baby Boy, Education is real dope. He Ooh. got a song called Trips I Like a Lot, Rambo, and Yeah, Yeah. Uh, I ain't gonna lie to you. Lil Frenchy doing his thing on there, man. Lil Frenchy really? is rocking on there a lot. Yeah, I like the project a lot. All right, now, I, uh, before you even got to explaining about his project, you were saying that you saw him perform a lot. So is it a lot of performance tracks on this project? Some are. Some some are turned up some. Tell you the truth, I give it I'm gonna keep it some. Cause some are chill okay. songs, maybe like out of 13, probably like five of them are chill. Mm -hmm. And the other ones kind of turn up. But Lil Fritchie turns up straight up. Yeah. Uh Man, I like I, his performance. I like his project. Uh yeah. let's it was solid, real solid. The biggest thing that I I love I love the album cover and the way that he presented that project. Yeah, does it uh fit the name? Does the name fit the project? Or is it just just different music? It, just, it fits a little French. It fits a little French. Gotcha. You know gotcha. what I'm saying? And I rock with it. But uh, okay. I'm giving him a strong seven. Whoa! It's, hold on now. French has good music. That that's 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 big. Look, okay, a little French. Hey, okay. Man, I wish that boy was in the chat, man, because he most definitely was uh, super excited. Uh, for you to talk about his project and everything that you were going to, uh, how you felt about it. Uh, but a seven. Okay. What's the, uh, what's the best track on there? You say, uh, I put on new music Monday education. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's really dope. That's a turn up track. Okay. Uh, but he got a lot of good ones. He got a lot of good ones okay. on it, but they're my favorite. You saw what's, what's in that water. <laughs> Spider. A better question would be, what's in this cup? <laughs> Y'all, let's keep it moving. <laughs> Ray, and that Ray higher than a seven. Whoa, I'm going to have to go check it out. Hey, y'all have to check it out. If it's a seven, woo. That, hey, uh, I'm going to send you Ant new project. It drops in. All right, bro, make sure you send that to us, man, so we can rate it. Uh, all right. Um, last, last project. I already it's told you seven. Last project. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. All right, last okay. project, y'all. We're going to Memphis, Tennessee. This is Little Migo. With King of the Trap, uh, he is signed to Heavy Count, which is Black Youngster, but that's really Yo guy. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. Uh, but I'm gonna tell you what, Lil Migo got it. Lil Memphis? Migo got it. Okay. Straight up. Okay. Uh, he on his album, he got Yo Gotti, Black Youngster, Forty Two Doug, Jacquees, mm. Money Bag, Yo. Man, I'm going to tell you what. He got a lot of songs on there I'm rocking with. And he up next, and he adds to what they got going on in Memphis. What I got right. most out of the project is he can make good songs. Not mm -hmm. only can he just rap, he yeah. know how to make songs, which is a whole right. different skill. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But uh, big props to Little Migo. <clears throat> like I said, I've been hearing about him. I knew he was already kind of on in Memphis. But he is up next, straight up and down. But big shout out to Lil Migo. Uh, how was, was good? I don't know what's in the water in Memphis. Huh? No, I, I was just looking at I that. I said, uh, read the comments and stop looking crazy. <laughs> now, because you're skipping a little bit, so I ain't know if you, uh, you can hear me. Uh, you I don't know what's in the water in Memphis, but it's working. I heard, I heard him the other day for the first time. He different. Okay, so it's just good music. He's putting out good music. Uh, seven people in the chat, Bruh. too, man. We appreciate everybody tuning in. Bro, he is dope. And everybody, make sure to like, share, comment, out on review show. We do this every Tuesday night, uh, 7 p.m. Last album of the night, Little Migo representing Memphis. Once again, like, share, comment. But uh, Spider, he add to the collector that's in Memphis. We were talking about him last week on how Memphis is up next. 
And I uh, appreciate you, baby Hollywood, in the chat. But he is up next, and he adds to what they got going on, man. He makes good music, really, really good songs. And I'm telling y'all straight up, like, he'll probably have something on the radio or something like that soon. Like, he, you'll be hearing about it. Okay. The same way everybody around the country know who Black Youngster is, know who Money Man Yo is, they'll know about Little Migo in just a little bit. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, so what you rating the album? Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Okay, favorite song on there? Uh, he got a lot. Can't go okay. back. No love in my city. Big dog. Live life. Pigs. He got a lot. A lot. And all uh, right, do and is it heavy trap? I know you can make songs. So what's the, what's the well, your all over? Song? All he, over. He, he can really rap. He can do that. If you want to rap, he can rap. If if you want to yeah. throw an R and B artist, he can do that. I was gonna joke with you. Uh, he got Jacquees on the hook, but you know what's next? What, what, what what's yeah. the next artist he gonna have on the hook? Spider. Tory Lanez. No, okay. What's, what's next? Chris Brown? There you go. Yeah. Hold on now. <laughs> so, that's what I'm saying. He on that level. You start off with Jack Queese. Probably the next project, he'll have Tory Lanez on the hook. And then he'll probably have a song on the radio with Chris Brown. But he, he's yeah. on that type of trajectory, and he's making that type of songs and that type of music. It, I think it's the fake beard effect. I don't know. Hey, look. I, so I, I do got to ask. Like, are we not going to just, like, say that, like, you know, they're doing industry plant with, with street street rappers? That That's not a thing? I just feel like that's what's Give me one. Give me one. I got to ask you this question. What, what What's Pooh best song? The final one that went platinum. Hey, we ain't finna do this album. But what song came out before that? What song came out before that that you liked a lot? A lot of his music, because all of it was good, and I told you he was bubbling before that even came out. You did. So I never I, told I you about Pooh Shanks. You did. But what I'm trying I'm to tell you is this is my thing. You don't keep your ear to the streets. Answer this question, yes or no. Before you ever heard Back in Blood, did I not tell you yeah. Pooh Shanks and Fujiano was bubbling? No, you did. You so did. why are we having this conversation? What, what are we talking about, man? I was just saying, like these guys are industry plants too. They could be. It's possible that we got street rappers like the, they're being industry plants. That's how I feel, bro. I'm not saying it ain't, but okay. if I told you that this artist was bubbling before yep. you ever even hear about him, and months later he has a diamond, a, a platinum song. Won't you just give me my props instead of calling him industry plants? Look like you doing a bunch of hot damn hate. That would look like to me. <laughs> Nigga, hey, that's what he doing. Strike, what, what, uh, what does this have to do with Pooh Sharksy coming out? Strike one, I think any NBA young boy, honestly, it's a, uh, an industry plant, possibly. Ooh, okay, that's. I, I, I'm just saying, like, I just want to open y'all, y'all minds up to things that I think. I understand. No, that, you know, I'm not. It, I'm not saying it, bro. Yeah, I know it is know. possible. That, yeah, yeah. I, I, I agree, but yeah, I'm just saying, have your receipts. That's all I'm saying. Don't just. I got my receipts. I told I know you about an artist before he ever blew up. We talked about Fujiano a year ago. That was and Fujiano. That's old stuff. So that's what I'm telling you. He didn't have a hit, and I told you he was bubbling. Okay. I, I look. We're gonna revisit this whole conversation. It's a lot of stuff we're gonna revisit during this whole show because I don't back down. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. The, the receipts are not here today, but they will be. The, the, the strange thing with hip hop is tomorrow could be a whole different story. We have oh, yeah. receipts and everything can change. LOL Mo, what's good with you? Uh, random question. Off the uh, why did the uh OTF album flop? It had a bunch of promos behind it. It did. Uh, no, hmm. it did not flop. That album moved like flop. twenty. Yeah, like twenty-seven thousand units. Yeah, we're gonna get ready to get off, man. I'm gonna tell you what. Uh. You know, we had bigger topics on the hip hop highlights to talk about, but yep. bro, that is a huge win. No A punts for 27,000 units first week for Dirk and his homies. That, Gee, that's that, a huge win, bro. That's a, a mixtape, pretty much. A real huge a mixtape. Win that's that's for Dirk and a bunch of random cats that nobody heard about, bro. Huge right. win. Straight up. Straight up. No, man. no. 
it's, it's not that I don't like Pooh Shiesty, and I think he's a good artist. It's a lot of artists I think are really good artists. It's not that I don't like them. I'm just want to, I just want to ask certain questions so you we can see. I'll let y'all know where I'm at with it. What's his biggest no. thing to you besides Black and Blood? I, 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 I know what you, I know what you want. You got your receipts. I get. What's, your, no. what's his biggest song? Okay. No, I've been giving you props. You bring up reasonable questions like you did with artists blaming labels. Yeah, hey, you you was one of the first people that I know that said, "Is that the new beef?" You say that you have a label problem, and then it clears up. Hey, you one of the first ones, so I give you props. So ain't nothing yeah. wrong with bringing that up. But yeah. what I'm just telling you, I just got the receipts on that artist. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. So okay. you can pick an artist. That yeah. one I just disagree that with. That's all I'm saying. Okay. I think I think Pooh Shice is gonna be the one that brings it all to light. But if he don't, I can see how he, based off the stuff that you you saying about him and things like that. I just gotta say, he don't have a hit before Back in Blood that I felt like yeah, I'm listening to. You know what I'm saying? That I and I feel like I listen. I didn't like, say he did. Okay, that's that's this is what I'm using to uh, support what I'm saying. Okay, boom. That that's it. But and, and, and nobody else, especially Ant, can't tell me a Pooh Shice song besides Back in Blood. You you feel me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I don't nah. I got you, but you I, I don't know how you just standing behind that when he was already bubbling. You keep acting like he was just in the hood and then he played this track and it blew up. That ain't how it happened. He was okay. already signed to Gucci Mane. So that's what I I'm saying. You. you the one that sleep. That's what I'm saying. But <laughs> blame it on yourself. I'm sleeping on Blame it on you. I, I, you I'm sleep. Hey, look, I'm the biggest Pooh Shice hater you're going to see. And I got to see. She still got a lot to prove. Back in Blood is just not enough for me. But he was already signed to Gucci Mane. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So how did Gucci Mane sign him then, Spider? That's what I'm trying to tell you. plan, man. He's an industry. He's just like, hey, man, this dude, there's a lot of people who know him. The industry plan. <laughs> we're going to give him a song with Dirt. It's going to pop out. You know, Dirt. Hey, and and, and that's the one that blew him up. And what you even no, saying right now? Right. Yeah, we finna get off. If Dirk the one that got him a platinum song, and Dirk ain't got a platinum song himself, except the one with Drake, man, you, yeah, you, you tripping for real now, y'all. <laughs> what my man right, say? Man. My man said that fake beard throwing you off? I think so. Oh, I think that man, fake come beard. on now. Don't six nine me now. <laughs> my man said that fake beard throwing you off, man, y'all. Y'all, Spider, you're trying to put Spider in the bed, y'all. You bullshit, <laughs> Hey, man, I had a great time on the show today, man. I appreciate everybody tuning in and interacting. What's good, Jay? Jay, man, we got a celebrity in the building. Hey, we, uh, there's a lot of people that was viewing a lot of interaction today, man. Y'all keep that energy. We will be back next Tuesday. Hold on. Final. Before we go, we got one minute. I'm going to try one thing. This thing say that we can switch. I want to switch. And somebody sent us a tap in. Uh, we can't switch. You just changed the camera view. No. Never mind. I thought I could switch hey, around. Hey, I ain't going to bed. This it's early out here. Y'all know it's yeah, it's later there. It's early here. Hey, somebody hey, tap hey, in. Hey. Somebody send us a request. We need to do a request yeah, yeah. real quick to see if it works. And send us a request. We want to see if we can tap somebody in real quick. I sent I just sent Anna a request. Let's see what well, we're gonna try right. something real quick before we go off, y'all. We done. We just gonna try something there real quick. There he is. There he is. <laughs> What's good? <laughs> what is good? Hey, what up, Ed? What, Man, Instagram uh, taking it to a whole new level right now. We we made Instagram. Damn. Uh, let me let you know that right now. That didn't no, hold on, hold on, hold on. First off, I want to let you know something. Nah, you can't let me know that. Excuse my language. I think you need to go to bed. Let me hey, let me, well, let me refrain from hey, cursing you, on kissing WA right now. You need to go to on, bed bro, right now. I think you need to go to sleep. Hold on, hey, these, uh, don't no, hold say on, name hold on, hold on, hold on, no, 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 answer this question, answer this question, we ain't gonna you argue, you had enough talking, name another Pooh song, you had enough talking, name another Pooh song, name another Pooh song, going late, who tapped in this right now, I'm trying to get this, who is going late, who else we got in, what a light, what a light it, yo, can't see you, man, hold on, 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 turn the light on, what's good, man, that's what I'm talking about, what's up now, hold on, I, I, I got a problem with Spider though. First off, man, yo, I'm about tired of I you. I just want to. I just want you to name another Pooh Shice. Bro, no, 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 no. 
I, I'm tired of you complaining. You I'm, I'm, be honest <laughs> with you. I'm tired of you complaining about R&B and saying right. R&B is dead. I'm about sick of you. I'm definitely about sick of you. Hey, he do be hating on R&B every week. You do got Bro, you point. say this every week. You say it every week. Hey, man. I don't like R&B. R&B dead. Yes. R&B dead. Man, tell, me, tell me your reason you why. Corey, let's do it in the live right now. No, we live. If you're in the live right now, right now, I'm keeping it very perfect. Tell me. How old you are? How old are you? Bro, I'm about to be 37. What's up now? R&B alive. Hey, what's good? You get it right now, Corey? Huh? You get it right now? Yeah, yeah, I had to find a light. Corey, you got a problem What's with up with you? Yeah, man. Corey, you, 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 you don't got a problem with R&B, do you? Oh, no, I love R&B. No, so what's the, so let me ask it's you dead. a question. So what's up with the guy down to your left, man? If you look over, man, look, look over to your left. Nah. Or maybe to your right. But the guy with the wait, fake wait. beard, he's sitting here wait. talking about some. Wait, hey, you see? He literally talking about some. some, 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 some what's good, Terrence? It is Dave. I don't know. We're going to have to get out. Uh, R&B is okay, uh, it's on life support. It's on it's... life support? Court. Court. I broke this down before. I'm going to do it real quick. Okay. It is alive and well, but if R&B get too, if R&B artists get too big, pop takes it. So artists like Bruno, The Weeknd, are not R&B artists. They pop artists. You get what I'm saying? Like, uh, Beyonce. Like, Beyonce can put out the slowest song artist. she wants to. It's a pop what? song. Because she, Ariana Grande is a, she's a traditional R&B artist, but she's so big, she's a pop artist. Nah, so nah, it's, nah. It's, it's the truth. No, no, no. He writes, though. It's a different no, no. Right. Bro, no. Every, every it's not right. That actually, yo, everything that's popular, everything that's popular is always going to be hit by, by, by pop music. Check this That's out. That's being real. Why did you accept Corey saying that R&B like, so was on life support? Let me ask you a question. Support, let, let, but when Spider said it's dead, then I'm crazy. So it's post-pop music? Is Post is Malone not no. pop music? Yeah. Yes, he post is. Malone, post Malone not yeah, pop, pop music? Post makes him pop. Yes, pop hold on. Yeah. Hey. That's he pop? Yeah, he pop. Yeah, he pop. <laughs> some of those R&B artists that are coming out, they pop music. No, if, if R and B get too big, pop takes it. Nah, okay, exactly. give me a give me an R and B song that's that started out R and B and y'all say it got too big. That's pop. No, the artist. No, get my point. The and, artist. And I, this, I told Spider this the other week. King Tate, uh, it's good. Tate stop. I'm gonna tell you what. Ella May can do the same songs that Ariana Grande doing, but if Ariana Grande do it, it's an R and B song. It's a pop song. I mean, it's a it's pop song. My fault. If Ariana Grande do the same song, it's pop. But Ella May do it. It's R and B. It's simple. It's because Thanks. of the artist. It's because R and B is on life support. That's why. No, nah, man, he right though. Yo, <laughs> shout out to my counterpart over here. Let me tell you. Listen, shout listen. Pop, pop is alive and well in the whole world. Don't nobody really hey. listen to R. So if you if you go and make a a, a traditional R and B song right now, you will never reach. It's, it's the, the problem is hey, it will so never reach. He's a manager. That, it'll never reach an R and B artist. I'm going to ask you a serious artist. question. If you making love to your I, woman, are you listening to Post Malone or are you listening to an R&B song? Let's be real here. Stop it. Let's just stop. Well, Let's yeah. going well, I like to hear myself like when I'm making love. Have you love, never heard the Psycho? Uh, <laughs> Have you never heard the song Psycho? What? Psycho? What's good? Have you ever heard the Psycho? I, I, I like to hear myself when I'm making love. So I don't really <laughs> listen to music too much. But, hey, uh, would you feel what I'm saying? No, come on now. Man, that's what I'm saying. Man, hey. you making love. <laughs> back in the day, back in the day, <laughs> but uh, now nah, R&B well, don't like it for though. You know, Gray's going. R&B's been back cooked for time, years. Back in my you making man. love to R&B music. Oh, get out of here, man! Yeah. You don't hey, know Gordon, I'm listening. Even even if you listen you to R&B, music, right, like if you was the, if you was the name R&B song right now, you right. What would you go with? Just an R&B song. To talk about R&B it. song, not a pop song. R. Kelly. Uh, just an R&B song. I'd R always Kelly. go with him or The Weeknd, man. The Weeknd. He's pop! But what, what He's song? Pop. No, like, name the song. Like, name the, the song. The Weeknd? Hey, you the said name. right now. What? You said right now. 
What? You said right now. I'm the weekend. Listen. What? What song? What song from the weekend? weekend? Okay. I'm still Came listening. To Chris Brown is still relevant. Hold on. What? Chris Brown is still relevant. But for being for being a party animal. No one's eyes right now. <laughs> he read. He relevant really for artist. starting coke and beating on women and shit. Hey, what you you want to see him dance? You want to <laughs> see Chris Brown do anything other than dance? He don't. Pop. Yeah, he don't do no music. Like even his music now is 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 more poppy to me now. Exactly. It's not. He don't do R and B song. He don't wow. do. Wow. What he do? No. He, what he don't? It's not this big. Name your R and B right now, Chris Brown. Go. This now, like right now, like a song that he got out right now. Go crazy, crazy. Real. the song with him and Young Thug. That's an Go crazy, R that's R video. It's just a fast paced R That ain't R video. R Kelly going to jail. R maybe they meant. Ma well, okay, let's say this then. Maybe, maybe it's being misclassified then. Cause see, that wouldn't even. I wouldn't even classify it as R B. It ain't now, a rap song. These who says that. <laughs> I, I give. I, that's the only thing that makes sense because uh -huh. the wolf says that. And hey, I, I, I hey, give that. Y'all read that if, comment if you, down below. If they R. Kelly getting locked up, killed R and B. <laughs> nah, it was dead before he got locked up. Because he was already dropping stuff that wasn't wasn't connected. Yeah, it now, was over with. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that's that R. B. Been done. You lost that. You can't name a Pooh Shiesty song that's before Black. And it's it's my <laughs> stuff that you, you know, came up on this live radio. Yeah. Isaiah, what's good with you? Yeah, yeah, um, definitely. Uh, R. Ke Kelly was the last true R. &B radio song. Isaiah was good. You know I only trace the songs. <laughs> hey, say I uh, was like six nine. Probably can make I, an R and B song go out. Oh man. <laughs> he said Tracy oh, say I probably could. That's the saying thing. Yeah. Yeah. Six, nine, it's Russ R and B. I'm pretty Sometimes. sure Spider the only one in I like the way she were like, yeah, Drake R and B as got... well. This is like asking this Rod Wave R and B. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Spider <laughs> the only one Chill out. Yeah. One in here to be like Drake is And freeze it up. Y'all can get up off this thing. Yeah, and, 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 all right, y'all. We, we, we appreciate you. We appreciate you. Hey, man, we're going to use this next week straight up. We appreciate y'all, man. All right, all right. All right.